Mogo kukong ana denwa de bambu ana sereng to ana mantu tan mang munining ana denwa de bambu mogo kukong Ine bambu mogo ine bambu koko ana denwa de FIFA since its foundation in 1904, they have two main core business to develop football, to play football. Being here since yesterday, I understood that to play football is not easy. Can you imagine that some teams they work during two days, three days to reach the playground? This is very unique. This is show the passion, the passion of football in this part of the world. My own experience um, over the past three years at the helm of Guyana football has been that there is an unrivaled passion for the game within the hinterland communities. The only sport the people in the region love is football. Coming to this tournament, it has not been easy, you know, as, as we know that in these parts we don't have a coach. We only had a coach for, for two weeks and that's not enough for us. Transportation-wise, it, uh, it has been very hard for us. It's important to be here to experience the challenge that facing the player, girl, boy in this part of the uh, Diana, Interland, that you call it. It's, it's important to, to experience this in first hand, to see how we can assist them. That's, this is the first time that we, we've ever had a representative from FIFA. And um, that's a, such a tremendous experience for us. So the aim of inviting him there was to get them to actually see for themselves the talent, the commitment to play this beautiful game. We continue to see them making extraordinary efforts to come to various locations to just enjoy a moment with football. We have to find a way to intervene and bring the level of training and quality and support that these people need to really live their football. First, the President Johnny Infantino took the presidents of FIFA initiated a very ambitious development program that's called uh, FORWARD. Each federation, they are free to propose their own project. In this program FORWARD of the Guyana Football Federation, they have the project to develop football in a third land. forward program that has been launched by President Infantino has made this all possible because for a small football federation within the Caribbean, uh, with the FIFA forward program we are, we're able to prioritize and identify clearly our goals and invest in them and one of our goals is to develop the football within the region. For me, the important thing is how to make it easier for the player to reach the site of tournament. This is for me the priority. The second is how we can assist, how we can train the coach for the female, male teams. We have 83,000 square miles of football that I need to develop and we have to identify some priorities. We're looking at, we're discussing grounds, coaching, refereeing, we're in discussing putting uh, hinterland coaches and referees on full-time employment for training and taking them out to the country to develop them. The challenges now is that we have to get, we have to get our boots, we have to get our shin guards, we have to get the full, the full gears and that is costly. We have the main ingredients and the, 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 the main ingredient and that is the love and passion for the game. Uh, it's something that you can't explain, it's something that cannot be taught, it's just natural. So these people throughout the hinterland community, they love football. They have a, a passionate love for this sport. To 
us, football is more than a game. We see football as an opportunity to intervene in the lives of young people and develop them. We